here we go. All right, guys. We're here at Mega Bowl 2019. The main event tonight, Saturday night here in Greensboro, North Carolina, the world heavyweight title match between your current champion from Menace Society, Nick Christie, and the challenger put on quite a show last night, the current Southeast heavyweight champion, Dennis Kilo. We'll start with Dennis. All right, so last night, put on quite a performance. You got a sweep on the Northeast champ, Tom Pena Bianco. Shot 300, 771, all that. How do you keep this going into tonight's match? Adrenaline, hopefully. I'm just going to keep it uh, the old cliches. You want to shot out of time, whatever, and, and just try to throw good shots, basically. Is that okay? There you go. There you have it. All right, so there you have it. Hoping to keep it going, basically. Now on to the reigning, defending world champ, Nick Christie. Second title defense now. I'm sure you were in the crowd last night. You saw Dennis do what or De what Dennis did. What's the game plan tonight? Uh, just try to outstrike him. You know, you can't really play defense in bowling. Really, you just got to outstrike your opponent. With a one-on-one -on -one format, it's very easy to get lost in one frame, and you could be behind the eight ball a lot. So, really, it's just a matter of staying focused, making one shot at a time, one, one frame at a time, one game at a time, execute as good as you can. There you have it. One ball at a time, keep the momentum going. Stay tuned in a couple minutes. We're going we're gonna to decide world title match very shortly. You. Thank you. All right, guys, good luck. All right, guys, good luck. Good luck, guys. All right. Just the bowlers got an action packed, electrifying crowd here in Greensboro. Duke, North Carolina is over. Now the, now the focus is right here. That's where the focus is at. Hey, this, is, this is intense. We got a lot, a lot of noise coming from both sides. This is a lot going on. And then that's just in one match. And then you look down five pair of lanes, they are screaming at every pair. Pretty much. Here we go. Nick Christie to start this world heavyweight title match. And oh, he trips a 2 8 0, leaves a 10. Yeah, see, so it looked like Nick just got a little amped right to start. It's probably adrenaline flowing. That was gassed, which means he just he just threw it fast. There you go. So, so you have, as Nick, Nick mentioned, we also have our first welterweight Southeast title match next door on 9 and 10. And also on 7 and 8, the Southeast Cruiserweight title match as Nick does take care of the 10 pin. We also have other matches taking place as well tonight. And Gordon will come in periodically to give us updates on those matches as well. So Nick off to 9 spare to start his second world title defense. Yeah, I, I, I like Nick. I, I think he comes out to an early lead in this on the fresh. But Dennis is a shot maker, like the ultimate shot maker. Uh, I mean, this is probably not even top five most important matches he's probably ever bowled so nerves aren't going to bother him so when it gets down to the point where the lanes start to transition dennis is going to see it better i think and i think that's where he takes it there you have it dennis to start his world title match and he gets a 10 out he starts over the strike so then i talked to dennis earlier and it is key to start his tempo just make sure he doesn't get into that rhythm of trying to throw it hard he wants to stay soft uh, and just kind of fluid and just let the ball like that and let the ball roll. As soon as he starts to gas it, he does what Nick does and it's just going to fly through it and he's going he's gonna to miss the head pin. There you go. Southeast representative here. Who, who would know it better than, uh, you know, someone that is bold down here basically. You know, those lanes better than me. I mean, I. Hell, I haven't, even, I haven't even bowled here yet. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've been traveling bowling with Dennis for a, the better part of a decade, bowling PBA stuff, amateur stuff. I said, I've bowled with Dennis a lot in the last 10 years. 
Nick a lot in the last four to five years. I said, so I, said, I understand to see what they're trying to do, being a bowler myself. So I said, that me and Dennis communicate a lot as far as what he's trying to do. And in his match yesterday, I helped him out a little bit with Tom, let him see the lanes a little bit. So I said, he, he, he knows what he's wanting to try to do now. It's just a matter of execution. He had, a good, he had an excellent match yesterday. And this is not, oh, he gets out of trouble. Big four at first, but he, the 6'10 does collapse. He, he caught a huge break on that one. That was yeah, way that, way off his hand. Yeah, that was, uh, he gave it the full pull release. Yeah, he, he, gave, he, gave that, he gave, made sure he gave that little extra, and it, it, it was way left from the get-go. Yeah, so pretty much Dennis on the 4'7 does cover. So pretty much. Dennis out to the strong start with 771 for the first for the first three games, 300 in the middle. He had a dominating game one, two, games three and four. He was in it. Um, don't want to say Tom gave the game away, but I mean, it's yeah. clear that Tom yeah, gave away game him, three. He gave him the game in game three. It, it's funny. Right. So funny story. I talked to him yesterday. We were bowling. I was behind him the whole time, and when he shot 300, and he had the match locked up in the eighth. And so because we're bowlers, we're always looking ahead, and. Uh, See, again, he, he's still adrenaline flowing, that's gassed, and he's missing the head pin. Uh, but anyway, so I told Dennis, like, game's over, try something different, or preserve your area, you don't want to break them down so much. Yeah, I told him, I said, throw your next three shots left of 20, like, don't even come close to what you're hitting. And then Dennis like, nah, I want 300. I was like, well, then go get it then, go get it. <laughs> there you go. A lot, a lot of insight on Dennis's game. Nick uh -oh, off to a, right. Oh! Wow, he gave it a run. The two went in front of the 10, but the 10 does stand up. Uh, you, you can't shoot that any better than what he just did. Uh, that, that is a terrible break on that spare time. Yeah, you, break. you called it. So a er, difficult start for the world champion. And I was, I was saying, in practice, he looked like he could miss. As a matter of fact, Nieder Bullock looked like they couldn't miss. Yeah, it, it, and So he, he's actually crept left a little bit from where he was at in practice from what I saw. And he's throwing it hard. That's why he ain't hit the head pin basically yet. He's, he's coming super, super late. Let's see what he did. See if he makes a move right here, either soften up or moves back right. I, I, if for him, he likes to throw it firm. He probably moves right and firms it up. Well, let's see. He's staying in, but well, I, I said his move needs to be right because of where his ball is facing up. At. Well, there you have it. Here's the analyst here. I mean. Taking care of most of my job here. I mean, I might, I might leave it up to Nick the rest of the way. <laughs> but yeah, he, absolutely right. I mean, you're absolutely correct. I mean, I, I think he's too far in. He's got, I mean, a 10 pin. He's got a little, he doesn't have enough angle into the pocket right now. I mean, in practice, when he was a little further to the right, if he kept the speed up there, yeah. it was fine. But he can't, like I, said, I mean, it shows that he can't play in and throw yeah. it hard. So. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right. The, the, the amount of oil and the volume that's through the front part of the lane, if you gas it like he's in, he's throwing it hard, your ball just going to sail an extra couple of feet, then it's going to just go through the break point. That one was actually a good shot. It hit the spot good. He didn't throw it out the window. You know, it was it was at you know eight nine down lane, and it just like I said, a ten pin. That's just because he's he's way too steep. He needs to if he'd have moved his feet like two right and then firm it up right there, he'd probably have a much much better look. Yeah. So Dennis, Dennis wants to play out, and he wants to play as far right as possible. You look at him; he's laying it down at fifteen. That's, that's, that was beautiful. There you go. There you have it. There's the result. That was pretty much the result there. I mean, Dennis Beers continuing what he did last night. He's playing about the same part of the lane as well. This time, he's going to have a little traffic. He's going to have Nick this on his side of the lane tonight. So. Nick's, Nick's doing him a favor right now by being way left of him, so he's not burning up that, that track spot down the lane. So Nick, Nick's helping him out in the beginning. There you go, pretty much pushing a little oil down his way. Yeah, pretty he's, much. he's helping him being left of him. So. He's just going to push it for him, so yeah, he's doing him a favor. There you go. So Dennis here looking for the first double of the match here. Oh, that's much better. That one's pretty good. That one's a little high, though. Six pin. He was just like he was a little soft, a little soft off his hand. And, it, and it, it picked up a little quick. But like I said, that's a, that's a good miss for him. He, he wants to stay soft, so. He took a sip quick. We owe him money like that old fella. Yeah, let's, let's also not forget the electrifying crowd, some of the, some of the stuff that the crowd says here. Yeah. <laughs> it might slip through, it might, might slip through, it may not, I don't know. I don't know, I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Been a prof I, I, you gotta take, it's gotta be professional. I, I just blocked it all out, I didn't even hear it. I don't know either. <laughs> But, but none, definitely laughing at it. Yeah, pretty much. Nonetheless, 
Dennis does stay clean. He's got he's, he's got a Dutch going for the first four frames. Nick Christie yeah, with Nick, Nick's giving him some breaks right here early right. by not being able to get to the pocket. Let's see what he makes. I, I, I'm, I'm curious if he does try to cheat it right. And he could probably stay in that same zone if he wants to get really soft with it, but that's not Nick's game to get he, soft. So I, I want to say that was right. He got he moved right. right and there it is. Him. You called it. You absolutely did call it. I mean. He got a little, he got a little right. He got he moved his feet a little right. He got he went a little straighter. He didn't cover as many boards. And yeah, now he snapped his head out. If you, if you see it, he was he was right on top of Dennis's line where Dennis is at. So they're right. going to be right on top of each other. And then the, trying to play the same area. So parents, parents, right now we got a 15 pin game now after four. Nick can cut it to five, and later on, I mean, the transition game may come a little quicker than we think. You know, this place, it, they, the transition comes up quick. Oh, uh, wow. Little miss left, little firm miss left, then the bucket crumbler. Yeah, took my line, the good old bucket crumbler. Bucket crumbler for the first double of the title match. So hey, that, I, I tell you, nothing, nothing frees up the arm swing better than a hit like that, and it gives you a string, the, the starter string, hey, that'll free up that arm swing real fast. Yeah, I mean, yes, you got love when those hits kind of go down. Dennis here, looking to respond. He's been good on this lane so far. He continues to be good on this lane. Three for three on the right lane. Yeah, he's, now, he's aced on that lane. He just needs to settle down, tighten up a little bit, make a good shot on this left lane. Yeah, and, and he's in good shape. He, he, last, like I said, last night he made he did, he did almost nothing wrong in the first two games. You know, it's it's yeah. funny because the, 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 he's not even throwing the same ball that he threw yesterday. Uh, yesterday he threw a tactics, a track tactics, pin down, and I, he didn't even throw it in practice until I told him to try it, uh, and it flat tinned on him. I said, if you can get another foot of clearance in that same zone, I think you'll be ten back. So he tweaked his hand, and it was ten back from there on. So it, it was good to go. Now he's, he didn't even throw it. Uh, he struck a bunch in the unholy round uh, with a, a web tour. So that's what he's rolling now. Dennis here. There you go. Well, he makes sure does go. There you go. Dennis Kilo with his first double, and he and he keeps the lead at 15 pins. So, so he so he double here for Dennis Kilo, the challenger here in his world title match, as he finally gets his first strike on the left lane. I, my initial guess was this was going to be a strike fest uh, early in the match. I thought it would be a strike fest in the beginning because of what these guys can do on the floor. And now, like I said, they're starting to settle in. It looks like you, you, it would not surprise me at all if both of them went cheap this first game right here. You know, you're calling right. it 260 to you know, two, 250 right here this first game. It would not surprise me one bit. All right, we anticipated that last night. Um, and actually, I do have some of the scores. I mean, wasn't as high the first game. Dennis obviously putting up 300 game two. But after that, I mean, he had a bunch of two thirties, two one, two forty. Yeah, you look it's at it. I mean, he he went two hundred over, you know, for the the forty. So he shot a thousand for the. That, that's just, I mean, you should a thousand. Right. And that's that's doing something. Two fifty, yeah. Two fifty, yeah. yeah. In, in bracket action, that's a, that's usually a winner. Two fifty four, Tom. Two twenty four. Nick here. Oh, that's two pin. Again, the super gas, and he missed the headband basically. They like said the ball just, you know, it's just too fast off his hand. But again, that's what Nick likes to do. He likes that's where he's comfortable is when he can throw it hard. So, like I said, so it, so interesting. So interest, little interesting fact, fact on the left lane. So Nick having trouble getting the ball to get up, whereas Dennis early on couldn't get the ball to hold off where he so went six bit. He just he just messed back here. So he moved two left on that left lane, but again. Dennis wants to be softer, whereas Nick is vice versa. He wants to be harder off his hands. So, like I said, they're, they're in the same zone, but they're throwing it two different ways. Like I said, Dennis wants to roll it and let the ball do the work down lane, whereas Nick wants to force the action and help the ball get through it. So, I, I, Dennis moved left. He said he went two left on the left lane, and that was a solid hit for the, you know, for the, the for, to get the double. Uh, I, like I said, it wouldn't mind surprise me at all. He catches both of these hits right here and, and really puts the pressure on Nick. And game this one pretty good here. Yeah, he, liked that. he definitely liked that one. Like I said, Dennis is, is one of the best shot makers that I've ever seen. 
uh, not bowling on TV on a regular basis. As far as bowling, everything. They, I mean, he just he's won the TAT. Yeah, he bowls nationals and things like that. I said he did, I competed in regionals with Dennis for a while, and like I said he's his his game is very simple, but yet very amazing. He's 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 good, and when he gets it and he's seeding it the right way, yeah, it's it's hard to beat him, especially now when he's got area. Yeah, and I'm on a hell shot. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you got area to begin with. It's not like yeah. he's trying. He's not trying to split boards in a regional. Like I said arm swing's gonna be a little freer. I said that one. A couple left. Then ten back. Yeah, I mean, that's. I mean, he's got room. He missed in, and you called him. I mean, he he got. He's got a four bagger, and he's got. I wouldn't say a command lock on this. Yeah, he, he hits, depending on what. So. Dennis Kilo with four bagger in the eighth frame. And right now, best Dennis can do 260. Nick Christie, 234. And it will remain 234 as he's good on the right lane. But now comes the left lane. He's going to get the ball. This is going to be interesting. Yes. Right here to see if he tries to gas it again right. or if he does make the decision to, right. you know, to, to soften up with it a little bit because he, you know, he's eight pinned over there. And it should have been a 2 8 10. Uh, and plus his his hits in the start of the game, so it's it's, it's interesting what kind of move right here. If if I'm Nick and I just watch my ball sail, especially if I liked it, I'm moving right. Right, and there's also interesting thing. Dennis gets a finish on this left lane. Nick does not this game. Ninth frame, foundation oh, frame. Seven. Oh, he tickled the seven pin, and he gets a key double in the ninth frame and puts the pressure back on Dennis. That, that late hit on that seven. That ball labored too. Yeah. But he was mud and Andy was softer with it, and it's still labored. So, yeah, like I said, it's very interesting. Two different styles. You know, like I said, Nick trying to get the ball to tip up. Dennis trying to get the ball to not come up too high. So, it's and it's just a matter of like a couple boards really you know, Dennis, between the two lines. Is, I think Dennis is this first one right here in the ninth, and it's about game over right here. Because I mean, he's up. That puts him 26 up going into the tenth. Hey, you know, a mark at that point. And I think Dennis is good for a mark. Uh, right. this, one, this one's right. big right here. He hits this right. one, I think he's good. Can he stay perfect on the right lane? He likes it. He likes it. Light mixer goes! Five in a row for the challenger from King's Court. And he's got a 26-pin lead heading into the 10th frame. And as Nick's, er, Nick mentioned earlier, a Mark Good count will give the challenger the first game. Any, any any spare basically right here. Obviously, anything more than six spares is good, but I, I I like Dennis to get more than six on this shot right here. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, he's gonna be good for six. I, I I'm not I I definitely would not bet against that. No, I'll put that, it that way. That is not a good bet. And that, if anybody wants to bet on that one, I'll take it uh, all day for the house. <laughs> the house, bet phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> anyone wants to take that, especially after watching him last night. Bet phenomenal. Yeah, bet phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here we go. This one oh, for game one. Oh, 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 very smooth and very smooth for a six bagger. And game one in the books, barring any catastrophes. You know, yeah, it doesn't even matter now. He can throw the next two in the gutter. It doesn't even matter. He may need, still, he may need like a pin or two, but besides that, Dennis Kilo will have won his fifth straight game here at Mega Bowl. Yeah, that's, you know, it's crazy, too, because they're so lefty dominant, but you got these two righties that are just absolutely whacking them all day, essentially all day today. Uh, Dennis said he didn't like his look, and the five-man uh, bowling down at the higher end of the house, but as soon as Unholy kicked off and he's down here in this area, uh, it was lights out at that point. Well, it looks like it's continued to be lights out. That's seven seven in a row now for the challenger yeah, I, not just not just because i am friend closer friends with dennis but i had i picked dennis to win the match just because i know what he can do uh but i mean at 260 out the gate that's that, that, that's tough <laughs> yeah, it's very, yeah it's very tough to deal with that is tough to deal with i mean right. I, I, so that sorry there i don't know if anybody was really paying attention so Nick was even further right with it, and he finally flushed one instead of catching or worrying about, you know, relying on the, the mixer, the pin scatters. So, I, you know, he might be lined up and ready to go from here. You know, he just spotted Dennis a game. But, like yeah. I said, that, like, again, that shot was – he was right. So, like I said, that, that's where he needed to be from the get-go, in my opinion. Yeah, well, I mean, that shot, almost a repeat of the last shot I just threw, yeah. first ball in the 10th, 
goes nine pin. But he's got to find he's got to find something for next game. He used, he was pretty good on the right lane. It was the left lane. He's just got to get them all to tip up a little bit. But I figure, I figure there's a point where you don't want to go too straight. Like you don't want to get, catch where Dennis is playing, and the ball might jump too early. There's almost like a fine line now with the game and practice. In. Yeah, I mean, you look at his score. He only had two misses on the even lane. So I mean, that's a split when he threw it really fast. All right, pretty much. So at the end of game number one, the challenger Dennis Kilo. Out to another one nothing lead as he wins game one, 260-223. to So here we are, game, game one of the books. Dennis Kilo up one nothing. That uh, makes five straight game wins for the challenger here at Mega Bowl 2019. And Dennis Kilo, two star game number two. Yeah, so, you know, Dennis looked 100% in rhythm at the end of that game. So small, small little break. Daddy quits to like, like a and a tournament moving pairs is basically what he just went through. So now you get right back on it, you know, business as usual, settle down, make sure you don't gas it, get the adrenaline flowing, so. Right, here we go, game under two underway. Soft with it. And soft, oh, you got to light, mix it to go. That's that, that's that area he would, that we were, me and Dennis were talking about earlier, he wanted to maximize his area left and right, and so that one was right, and he got away with it, that's what you want. Well, the softer ball, I'm sorry, the, the, the softer ball speed too also helps a lot of ball to recover a little better as well, so. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, they, well, they hook in here to the outside anyway, so as long as you're not throwing it out the window, you should be okay, but that was a good shot by Nick. That was pretty, yeah, pretty good, light, light mix of goes, and the bowlers matches, match strikes in the first frame. So, so game one last night, Dennis goes 237. Tonight he goes 260. Game two, we know what he did last night. Yeah, and, yeah man, that'd be amazing. Let him let him drop, you know, all three of them right here in game two again. Man, that's it. That I'm not gonna say it would take all the air out of Nick Sales, but man, that's got to give a big a big hit to the to the world champ. Absolutely. Yeah. I, Nick here, looking for an open double. Soft and left, so that's a good oh, one. but he got it in a little bit. He looked like he played a little tired of the head at that time. Just enough to get the light hit to go. Uh, I, I, look, I wonder if he's trying to just shut down that right because he's done watch his ball not get back a few times. So he, he just, you know, all right, I'm just going to trap it, make make seven, eight his gutter, and he, that's it. He don't want to throw it any further right than that. Pretty much, and, and later on, I mean, he, if Dennis is going to be right of him, he may have that little bumper, you know, later on in the match, too, I know, to use. I, I look to both of them to try to do the same thing. It's just going to matter of, you know, who's going to catch those hits and who can make good shots the most. And right now it's Dennis at the, at the moment. Dennis has just made more quality shots. Yeah, no, I mean, you can't, you can't, can't argue that right now. I mean, he just looks comfortable. He looks relaxed. It, it looks like a repeat of last night. He was just absolutely comfortable, relaxed. He, it, for like, with the exception of maybe like one or two shots in four games, he, he looks great. This is how relaxed Dennis is. He's chirping with the menace, uh, the M2S group, Menace to Society, Nick's team. He's chirping with them after every shot. You know, like I said, that's how relaxed that Dennis is at this moment. Like I said, that, that's that's what you want to see as a bowler. That's where that's that zone you want to be in. That's 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 pretty much like you know Max like. Comfort zone Absolutely. you want to be at. Dennis here looking to open up with the first three. Light mixer again goes. So the, at the, I didn't mean to cut you off. So after he's struck in the first frame, but he sat down, he turned around and looked at me, and he did his, and he did with his hand, and he told me he's like, coming around the top of it is bad. 
rolled up behind it, good. And I was like, yes, 100%. That's it. There you go. So basically, Dennis matches Nick's two opening double and raises him a turkey. Let's 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 see what Nick does. Does he see him? That's gonna hurry. Again, a wide. That ball was at six at the break point, which isn't bad in here. That hooks, but again, because Nick is so far left, much more than he needed to be. He two four eight tens. So I, he gave this one a run in the first game, and it should have made the spare. You can't throw it any better than he made it. So let's see if he does it again. Yeah, hey, hey. Nick Pierce took my steam here. Two four eight ten. Does he get it over this time? Uh, no. He it a little bit too much. There's friction. That bar right there lets you know he peeled it from the gutter and he clipped the four running away. There's friction there. He's just so far left. And, and, and so Nick can't hear this, but I said, Dennis just turned around and looked at me and goes, why is he so far left? And I said, I don't know, but that's good for you. <laughs> yeah, that's really good if you're the challenger. And he, he sees exactly where Nick should be and Nick's not there. That's a really good sign. Yeah, Nick is 100%, I think, in trouble if he does not make this move. Because uh, he's not throwing it bad. He's just Wide. He's not in the right Wide. Side. That was a good oh. shot. That was a well, all right. Shot. Show us how much I know. I, it looked like he may have been right at the last shot he threw. where he was, he was like he just hammered on it a little bit harder to get to make sure it got there. Because the ball was still, he laid it down at 20. And the ball saw seven down lane, so he just hammered on it. It looked like to get to make it come around. So that, again, that is something Nick likes to do: throw it hard and bang on it. So right. there you go, pretty much. But that is strike number three for for Nick Christie. But he is in a hole with the two forty ten in the third. Dennis, however, out to the first three to start game two. Yeah, this is almost just like a repeat of last night. Dennis here looking for the first four. And Nick called it. He was actually splitting the 8-9 on those shots. There's a lot of splitting the 8-9. And now with your entertainment director of the UBA, Gordon Pepper. Hello, everybody. Who wants some updates? Nobody. Just kidding. <laughs> Tag team match. G-Town heavy hitters, 247. Dragon Assassins, 218. On lanes three and four, and yes, this is supposed to be a heavyweight match, but it's not. Ryan Ward, 183. Lee Bullen, 163. Ryan Ward leads one zip. Obviously, all of these are one zip. Uh, Dan Ship, 161, over Travis Walker, 153. In your cruiserweight match, your champion, 202, over James Roderick Malloy, 200. Welterweight, Roosevelt Johnson, 215. David Barker, 197. And of course, in this one, uh, Dennis, 260. Nick, 223. All these are 1 0 leads. Back to you, sir. Uh -oh, left. Left. Oh! Nick gives it a little kick. How about a kick on the seven pin? That's what he's talking about. Who can catch those breaks? And that was that break. That's yeah. a big that break. Right there. Huge break. As you called him, miss left, kicks the seven. And he's got the front five to start game two. Hey, so if you remember last night when they were bowling against Tom, with Dennis and Tom bowling, Tom started out striking two in game two with Dennis when he swung a ball. And as soon as Tom missed, hey, it was a wrap after that. I'm going to go walk and get a drink so that I don't get yelled at when he comes back and he shoots <laughs> at the uh, 12th frame here. <laughs> Nick Christie. Come back, it'll be right around around that time. Nick Christie looking for a double, but he leaves the 10. And now the lane that was good to him in game one, now he's starting to. Say, he did the yeah. same thing. Like I said, he hammered on it, and so it hooked from the right. But his angle is so steep. That's a rat 10 all day long. I mean, right now, I mean, if I'm Nick Christie, I mean, if that's the look he's got with this ball, uh, he needs to change balls. Because right now, I mean, I, I don't know what else he can do with Why this ball. Oh, oh, he almost, he almost flagged it. Yeah, he, tried, he tried to give it the Woo, fly. See, Nick. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if I'm Nick and I feel like I threw that one as good as I could throw it for a rat 10, that ball is not going down the lane again. If, that, if I'm Nick. Uh, and I am Nick, so. <laughs> hey, you are Nick, too. I am Nick. All right. But, yeah, no, that ball just does not look good. If he's got to cover that many boards, just get the ball out of the pocket. It's, that is not a good look right now for Nick Christie on the right lane now. How about, how about the scores from those other matches? There were some close games over there. That was impressive. There were some close games, yeah. Indeed, heavyweight match, 180-160. Yeah, yeah, okay. Shake that off. That cruiserweight yeah. match, 202, 200. That's right. good. Nick here. Oh, another 2810. Uh, again. So, right. I think. Hey, Dennis, so, Dennis just looked at me again with his hands up going, what is he doing? 
<laughs> so I think at this point, I think it's safe to say he needs the ball change. And he get. needs to move his feet right. He can stay in that ball. It'll shape it. Right. He just needs right. to move right. And he will not do it. I don't know what's going through his head, like what his mind's like, what he's seeing in his eyes. But you look at uh, everybody paying attention, and it's like that is not it. That's, oh, ooh, he's he almost another yeah. run. He's giving these splits a run. He is, yeah, you know he is, but they're not going down. That is Nick Christie's second open of game two, and um, yeah, geez, two holes. Yeah, geez, two holes. Doug, oh uh, yeah, Doug, Dennis, Kilo at the front five. I mean, uh, this is about as comfortable as you can get. I mean. Yeah, I I'm not gonna say this game's over yet because it's you know just still, still halfway through. But man, it's it's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, I I I I almost want to call right now. How about the front six? Oh, look at him. He wanted to walk away from it. That's not what you like. That one. That was pretty good off his hand. Another ten back shot. Dennis Kilo with the front six. Now we could look at a repeat of last night here. I'm telling you, it, dude. I, like I said I watched. I watched him bowl, and he aced ten of the twelve. And, and like I said the two that he didn't ace, they just, you know, like I said he he might have he meeked one right, and it came back and hooked, and then he he missed one in just like he's done here. He missed his not last shot left. So like I said Dennis, like I said being the shot maker, I, I, he tightens up, and I bet he splits the eight nine right here. Oh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, you mentioned it. He misses left because he's not throwing it so hard. It yeah. still gets time to come because back. He's, being, he's not over. He's right. Over ass. So he's not over hit, and so his ball is going to roll. He's just going to push. Like said, ace. That's got to hurry. It does. No chance. He made a bad shot and got away with it. He was going to make damn sure his next one was ace. He split the eight nine right there. Yeah. Now he's got the front seven, and uh, Tom Pembianco. Saw this last night. Nick Chrissy may see the same thing Tom saw last night. Yeah, Tom is probably sitting back somewhere going, I feel you, buddy. I feel you. Pretty much. <laughs> Nick Christy looking to get something going here. Game two. Light mixer goes finally. Did you see that ball hit? It, it hit finish to the right of the five. And the five just kind of fell over late. So again, yeah. That's not a hit you want to see and, and feel reliable about. So... I, again, I don't know what Nick is like, like his game plan going into it, but it, like I said, he's, in my opinion, I think he's lucky to have the four strikes he's got right now through seven. He's not throwing it bad. It's just in a bad zone. It's, I, the only thing I can think well, let's see the shot first. Oh, Nick looking for another slow. double. And now it's kind of, it's kind of the same area Dennis is playing. He he's, did slow it down a little bit. Arrow left of Dennis, uh, and that oh, was at well, Dennis's yeah, right. pace on that, right. that last shot, so right, he softened yeah. up. And you say he was high flush, yeah. but his ball also didn't get right of 10 down lane, so. Oh, definitely right. I was saying, um, oh, hell, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. I, I, think, I think because his ball has sailed so many times, I think he's afraid to get it right. Dennis has no worries about getting it right. He ain't worried about it. All he's worried about, he's just got to get it off his hand in front of him and floating, and he's good. How about the front eight? I got to get there. Ten goes out again, and the crowd's just get, the, the the crowd right now seems gassed, or they're just they're just bored of watching the same shot over and over again. We saw this show last night, and um, well, I this is this is this is, this is uh, looking to be a repeat. I assure you, there is no projector in front of you. This is for real. <laughs> there is no projector in front of you. I assure you this. This is yeah, this. The, is it is a repeat from yesterday, but it is not. Uh, this is live. This is a live repeat from yesterday. Yeah, this is this is just uh, this is just phenomenal right now. What Dennis is doing. A 100% perfect display of bowling right here. Dennis is, is absolutely putting on a clinic on, on what to do. Dennis here, looking for the front nine. Oh, the seven pin had other ideas and the he, he was left. And he was firm. That's why it didn't, it didn't quite want to get there. His left, and he was firm. Dennis, Dennis' string. I don't. I don't that's what I wanted to mention. Dennis, with that string, and he ended a string of 16 in a row. The last eight game one and the front eight this game. That is so. I mean, 16 in a row at any point. I mean, that's. That that makes as an as your you see your opponent throw a sixteen bagger on you, but that's just that, that's raw. That, that's tough. I, I it's, it's like just basically. Uh, I mean, hey, I mean, pretty much at that point is just you know, give, give him his props and move on. Hopefully he misses, but 
And right now he's missed, but he can go for 279. Nick Christie here looking for three. He gets a light mixer to go. That's a solid light mix right there. Like I said, dude, that's, a, that's not a bad look. But again, I, if I'm Nick, I, I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm on a boarding this my mission right now. This game, this game is done. So I, I'm even if even if if your ball hooks, you gotta move right and try something different. Like you're just repeating the same thing over and over again. It, he, I think he has to try to move his feet right. If, if I'm him. Well, I mean, the last couple shots, it looks like he's actually. So his ball speed down a little bit for allowed the ball to recover a little better. Lane for sure, right. he's still soft with. He, oh, he's to make change balls. That's, oh. a, that's a that's a different ball. Just his ball change. The game's out of hand, by the way. For those that are oh. paying that one, attention, that one actually yeah. Shaped it pretty good. Yeah. For those that are watching, this is the tenth frame. This game it was over a couple frames ago. <laughs> um, Dennis or not Dennis? Dennis had the front eight nine spare left the seven pin. Nick Christie had ninety nine in the six. Uh, he he's got a four bagger, but. Um, he could still be about 60 behind this game. Yeah, I said this is a good momentum builder going to the next game. I feel you know, if you could catch the last six. It, yeah, you lost, but the last six that to go into the next game. He he went even further left, and he banged on it even harder and it hooked. Like I said that ball that might not be it because the ball is so strong that way. So a little, little quick ball update. So Dennis is throwing a hammer web tour on both lanes. Uh, Nick Christie started with the Rotor Grip Hustle Inc. And he just ball changed to a Storm Sonic. Yeah, I think the Sonic is probably a little too much down lane. So. Right. I mean, I mean, I mean, the only positive thing is, you know, I guess Nick likes to, you know, give it the business. Like, likes to really, you know, throw hard. It may allow him to do that. Uh, he wasn't going for that. I, 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 I don't like the ball change that because that ball is super clean. Like it's going to get up the lane on its own. I think it forces him even more so to be right with the speed and to be in the right zone. But it'll definitely recover a little bit better. It's going to change his angle down the lane. I, again, I, I was I liked his look with the eight. He was just in. And that shot was in. And that was the first but bad I, shot. If, if right. You watch it. Dennis laid it down five left of where he had been. That ball was laid down at 22 instead of around 16. That might have been on purpose. Could it might, been. He it had to match been. one. He wanted right. to stay away from his area. The fewer shots, the better. Uh, on his line, it's gonna it's gonna delay that transition, that breakdown. So it, that might have been on purpose. It could have been. It's very smart play. I mean, I Dennis it, is not a he's not a dumb bowler. He he's he's always looking ahead. That's that's what tournament bowlers do. We're, we're always looking ahead, looking at our next move, you know, before it happens. That's how we stay ahead. So like that. we discussed it last night. Uh, when, when he shot 300, when he shot 300 game, I'm in the. I would I, if it was me, I wouldn't have gone for the 300 against Tom. My three shots in the tenth would have been left of 20 and not touched my line at all. Well, he had 300 last night. This this game he had the front eight that did not finish it. However, he still gets the game win here in game number two as he wins 253 to 205, and the challenger has now won six in a row here at Mega Bowl. Is now up two nothing over the current world champion Nick Christie. And now we did get the little, the little slight little pause right here, and get pick it right back up. Let's see if Dennis, you know, is, you know, pedal to the metal right here. I, you know, you take this game through right here with Nick struggling a little bit. I mean, you look at the total pins. You know, he's up almost 90 on him through two. So it is, you know, Nick just hasn't really put up much of a fight at all so far. Struggling with a ball reaction. Uh, yeah. I said he was left again with that one. That was like, that one looked pretty right good. There. Well, he, he was left, but it was the ball change you talked about. He went to the Storm Sonic, and it looks like he's going to commit to that for this game. We're going to see what, how that works for him. I, I bet he's probably a lot more comfortable with that one in that area right. than what he was having to do with that ink. So, like I said, it could be game on now. Yeah, yeah, he spotted him two games, so it could be game on at this point. Yeah, I mean, I mean Tom, Tom, I believe, made a ball change at this point. And it was game on. I mean, we we know what happened in that game. It was Tom's game up until the eleventh shot. But we could see, you know, we could see another repeat here. It's two nothing, Dennis. But anything can happen here. It's still. You know, it's, it's funny because you know last night with Dennis, you know, he saw a transition and starting at game three, and he was the only one on that right side. So now you got him and Nick together. So it's interesting to see exactly at what point the lanes start to transition right here. Let's see what Dennis does here. Yep, and we got to pipe it on lean time. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is suspect. But first, this is suspect. first, <laughs> so that's here to start game three. Seven pin does go down, but the ten. He's crept his feet a little bit left. That ball started just a little bit closer to 20. 
because uh, I said I think he was anticipating it start to break down a little bit, and it, the ball just wouldn't quite pick up. So it's not quite ready yet to, to creep in. Then it probably moves it just a hair back right to try to catch that. He almost 7'10 right maybe, there. Maybe a little over anticipation yeah, of I the transition. He, yeah, he was trying to plan ahead, stay ahead of the move. And so again, that's something we want to do, stay ahead of the move. So he's just trying to cheat it just a little bit. Uh oh, oh watch out. Oh, uh oh. Might, might be a little early for June 14th, but. Uh, whoopsie. You don't know yeah. what June 14th is, right? Oh, what, is, what do we got there? Flag day. Oh, man. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> I, wanted to get, I wanted to get that in for Mega Bowl at least one that, time. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. That was a good one. I want to thank Jeremy Domingo for that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, too, because Dennis is actually an amazing spare shooter, so it's, it's shocking that he missed that spare. He missed one uh, last night, but that was the only yeah, I said, he's single he's missed. a phenomenal spare shooter. I, I think he might his mind might have been on, you know, the move, like what's the next move, and say, instead of focusing on that spare and worrying about it later. But, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, it's, your, it's nine dash, so go, you know, he can, he'll brush it off and go get the rest of them. Yeah, he recovered off the opening, got the strike at the second frame, but for the first time, we could say Nick Christie Nick has, has, the, Nick has the lead. Nick has a lead in a game in this match. First yeah. time. It's, it, it's, we, that's got to make you feel good. You finally yeah. catch an opening. Catch an opening. <laughs> in, it's game three, so it's like it's it's go time. It can't go. So ball it's change. First oh. shot with that ball in that lane and two eight ten. And he can't. Oh, and he right back. Gave it right back to him. And, and, and again, you can see how clean that ball is. How much it gets up the lane on his own. And uh, it's. it's yeah, it looked good when he got it soft, but that ball, he tried to throw it normal. Pace was fast off his hand, yeah. and she sailed. Yeah, pretty much. She sailed on that one, and Nick just absolutely disgusted with the result, as you saw. Yeah, look at him. He just heaving at this bear. Wow. He gave it a run, yeah, and was, again, the two goes in front of the 10. He's trying to catch a little break and get, some little, get something to bounce out right there. That is Nick Christ. Actually, 22 frames in, his fifth split of the match. That, that's, yeah. You know, that's tough to overcome too. You know, that many splits and a heads up match like that. You you you're not supposed to win. You split that many times. You're not you're technically not supposed to win. All right, three in game number two, and well, it's the results showed. I mean, two fifty three two zero, and this one another early split for Nick Christie, and he like I said, he gave the lead back in a frame and a half already. Yeah, I, I, let's see what kind of bounce back does. See what he does here again. That was softer. And she picked it, and she read it the right way. So, so he's got he's got so he's got two on the left lane. Now he's got to figure out the right lane. You know, Dennis said he had that left lane hooking just a little bit more than the right lane. So if that right lane's just a hair tighter, and he stood in the same spot, it makes sense why he two eight ten. If Nick doesn't see him different like Dennis is. That's very true. I, I tend to lean to, to, to rely on what Dennis is saying. Obviously, based off his results, he's you know he's aced a lot of shots. But again, you know Dennis has the ability to read the lane. So, right. so while we have this moment, we want to thank everybody for tuning in here to the Saturday night main event here at Mega Bowl 2019. We're here live at Triad Lanes in Greensboro, North Carolina. You are watching the World Heavyweight Title Match between Nick Christie from Menace Society and. Dennis Kilo from King's Court. And right now we Dennis is up 2 nothing. What is it? So after game three, we are doing a little giveaway thanks to uh, Storm, I believe. Right? So we're giving away a bowling ball. Oh. Uh, so we're put we're, we're My company's giving away a ball. Your company's giving away a ball? Yeah. So after game three, we're going we're to announce the question. And the first one, I believe, Tony can correct me if I'm wrong. First one to comment with the answer on the question, uh, to the question, uh, you're going to win a bowling ball from compliments of Storm. So stay tuned after game three. Well, that's, that's awesome. They're, they're doing that. I know they did, yeah. I think, the last one, didn't they? Yes, he did. I think Matt, Matt Brown won the one, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Brown won. So, so anyway, back to the action. Dennis Kilo has a double. In the third. He moved, he crept that one back right to where he was at, so it's just not quite time to move yet. And it's interesting because it's interesting. It, I mean, you inter it's interesting because you say last night in the match with Tom, where Tom's on the left side, he's doing it on the right side. Transition came game three. Well, it's game three now, and he said, uh, and basically the transition's not there yet. Well, you look at it, so Nick being so far left, so it didn't really affect him much. 
So yesterday, the, the dentist do a track tactics, so which is a solid ASIM ball. So the cover's a little bit stronger. So oh. it was beating up the front part of the lane a little bit more than this this web tour that he's throwing now. So that's why they're not breaking down quite not. as fast. And Nick being, you know, an arrow left of him. So. Yeah, so that, that makes sense why transition is coming a little later. Um, not not beating up the lanes as much. Basically. If you look at it now, Nick Nick done moved into the shiny ball, so that's just gonna that's just gonna push it. And if he stays left, it's just gonna give Dennis more hold. That was Nick, soft again. Soft. Did he, but he, and, and was, wow. He rolled the rolled the four into the two. I mean, that was he was soft with the pace, and it's still labored. Again, that right lane is, well, it looks to be a lot well, tighter. Well, it is tighter. It looked like he did try to slow down a little bit to get the ball tip up and. I mean, wow! I mean, that ball just will not get up on that lane. Yeah, it, that's a that's a phenomenal break for Nick. I mean, you were looking at possibly at, at 45 feet. That was that was 210, and then you roll the four pin into the and slap the four into the 10 late. I mean, that's that's a good break. That's that a solid a, break. That is a huge break, and it's only the fourth frame. It's a huge double for the champion. And uh, I don't even know what's going on. Man down, late, late. What a, what a <laughs> Man down. Fellow, uh, <laughs> clean up. To society members. Clean, 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 clean up aisle 10. Clean up aisle 10. He's still tripping. Uh, can, we, can we get security over here? No. <laughs> security. Security. Security lane 10. Get this kid. His own teammate is talking while he's on the approach. Oh, God, Jesus. 10 pin, maybe go down, no. That was, that was actually about as good as you could throw it. I, I don't know what this is about, but uh, this guy needs to go. Hey, he needs to go. Thank God, he makes it 10 pin. Jesus Christ. Jesus. No, ow, ow. Here we go. There. He's always got to be that guy. Yeah, that guy. I know, you're right. That guy. I just don't, uh, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. It, it, Everybody knows. It's the, they, everybody's been asked to, to move. I, don't I mean, he doesn't see, there's nobody else sitting there. Yeah, he, he, he figure it, it, why it, is nobody sitting down there? I don't It'd be know. different if your team was already down right. there cheering your guys on, but there's nobody else there, so obviously take the hit. I mean, I would, I would, I think it's safe to say, <laughs> probably a little bit intoxicated. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 if I'm a betting man, I'd go, I'd, I'd agree with you on that one. That good. That good. That good. That good. That, uh, yeah, so back to the back of the ball, and it takes. <laughs> we were distracted a little right, bit. Right. So Nick. I mean, like I said, he threw a pretty good shot with the guy talking to him on the approach. He leaves a ring in 10, makes a spare. Dennis right now, after the open frame in the first frame, he's got three in a row. Now Dennis looking for four in a row. And this guy needs to get off the lane. And this, guy need, this guy's got to go. Dennis with four in a row now. Gordon, Gordon might be uh, asking him to leave. I think so too. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I, Gordon giving another warning. Yeah, the guys applauding him. I'm like, uh. but not, but anyway, as far as the ball goes, we're halfway through game number three, and Dennis Kilo for the twenty-four, yeah, twenty-four pin lead. What, what else is going on down there? That was uh, that was a pretty good shot right there, considering the the. Distraction, I guess you could call yeah, it. That's going on yeah, the, 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 the sideshow, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, Dennis, 24 pin league, looking to make it 34 here in the sixth. Uh, again, Dennis is looking to, to and, just absolutely step on the gas right here and step on Nick's throat and really put him in a hole right here. Dennis here looking for five in a row. That's in. He aced it. You get to, okay, so he moved. It. He said. So he just made it. So he just made another gesture to me. He went four left on that left lane. He moved in, and it's almost safe to say he's now playing left of Nick Christie. Yeah, but he can afford it. He can. That's right. Let that ball work. But again, Nick has created some push being left of him, so he just pushed everything up through the middle. He's created that push right there, so yeah, Nick's helping him. Big shot here. 
That's a little, that's a little that tighter. Was, that, was, that was much better. That, that was, was much better. That was a little tighter than a head pin than the last couple shots yeah. he's thrown. So now do you think he can't get right of that? He can't, no, that, he, no, I think I think it shows at that point he cannot get right of that on that lean. Yeah, he, he can't do it. Yeah. That was actually the, that was the good shot right there. He was a little bit just a few right with his feet. Ball saw the same spot down lane. Uh, through the arrows, it was really good. As like I said, that he aced that one. So now he's in a good spot right there on the right line. Let's see if he can keep it up on this left line. Yeah, this where he just ring ten on. So yeah. let's see what happens. And he's got two strikes in a ring ten. What's he got here? This ball's got it. Guy's got to hurry. Oh, the four goes out. A little backdoor four. Back to a four. It's a second double of this game, and he kits. He, he, he uh, lets Dennis know, "Hey, I'm still in the game here." Yeah, either that or he's asking him for advice. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> I don't know. He's like, "Hey, uh, you want me? Hey, hey, hey let's, let's 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 keep the show going. Let me have a game here, or something like that." Hey, uh, what are you doing different? What am I doing? Dennis <laughs> like, "Hey, you're you're the champ. Oh, you're supposed to put up a fight here." Yeah, exactly. Dennis is like, "I don't know what's going on, man. I'm just bowling." Like, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like I said, like with, with the exception of like you know the the, the Aaron ten pin in the first frame, then it's still yeah, looking great. Tries to make another move right here. Looks like his feet might be a little bit left. Dennis, oh, uh, that might be maybe it. Oh, he oh. Back on oh. So look at him! Hey, look at him! That, that's when you know you are absolutely in the zone. Turned his back, threw his hand up the middle yeah. to side of crowd, wow. and just absolutely looked at him and said, "What's next?" Yeah, and, yeah. At 45 feet, I guess he knew that was good. Oh, I was like, I think, yeah. I mean, Dennis just absolutely, absolutely. I, it, turned around and looked at him he, and said, "Is this the best you got?" Nick, Nick's gonna need a prayer, I think, at this point. Oh yeah, this. this <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying this game's done. Dennis has got 79 max. You know, it, it's 45 max on the other side. 30 pins, or 34. So even a, a spare still affords him the lead. So yeah, right. I, it, uh, this one and, it, and it could be over. Yeah, well, Nick Christie at 245 may not be good enough here. No, absolutely. And 45 hasn't been good the first two. Right. Games. And it that's may that, still that, not be good. That's that shim. That's that shim that Nick created. That ball was left off his hand and left down lane by at least four. And he should just held. Held the split. That the is. I mean, that, he's got. He still has that great look from last night. He's just making it work here. He's got seven in a row here in game three. He's up two games to nothing, and he is just has a phenomenal look. And Nick Creasy's going to need a little help here. Nick here looking for a turkey here in the eighth. Might be a right. too little, too late this game. It might be set him up for next game because he looks like he's got a better look, but definitely a better look on that right leg. For sure with that ball. Let's see what he does here. Like I said he tripped the four. Yeah. Or not say tripped the four. He backdoored the four last round. Right. That ball that ball went fifty feet on before it wanted to change directions. Yeah, so he so this left lane he's he, he's going strike, strike, ring ten, light, backdoor yeah. four yeah. pin. It's interesting to see if he makes a small move I, I, here. I bet he just he just doesn't gas it. You know, he, does, he threw the last one pretty firm. I bet he just doesn't gas it. Is it much softer? Yeah, he did not gas red. it. Oh, still caught the bucket crumbler. The yeah, bucket crumbler. That's, that's, that's two bucket crumblers. And I think he's a little surprised there too. Yeah, like, I'm surprised that ball didn't pick up. But myself, I'm surprised. But again, like I said, he has created that shim in the middle so his ball might be right on it so he might be getting into that shim himself right and you gotta wonder if dennis is see, is, is watching this seeing the lanes happen right before, right can, you know right before nick's eyes I basically 100 percent tell you dennis is watching every shot nick makes to see what his ball's doing so he's making moves off of what he sees nick's ball's doing 100 percent 100 percent it's a smart bowling right here i mean yeah. this he's just putting on an absolute clinic on, on how to bowl in a match. I think this one right here, pretty much. This one right here will lock it up, I believe. Looking for eight in a row and lock on game three. Ten goes out. Man, this, is just, this is just nasty. 260, 253, max 279 right here. I mean, that's, that's a cool 790 for your first three. That is tough to beat. Absolutely tough to beat. That is a lot. Yeah. That's a lot to beat. I mean, I mean, I mean, not to say. I mean, in the event you know something does happen, nine is good enough for the win. Nine itself. Yeah, 
but uh, right the way Dennis is going right now. Oh, yeah. he's, he get this mark right here. I bet he, he's yeah. just going to ace this one. And then yeah, Max. I would be right. very surprised if his next, if he aces this one, his next shot is probably way left again. Just like I said, he's just trying to preserve what he's got. Well, Max scores Dennis Kilo 279, Nick Christie 245. We're in the 10th frame. 10th frame, looking for nine in a row. End game three, he's got it. Dennis Kilo continuing to just plow the pins over. He's got nine in a row and a three-nothing lead once again. That's, that's nasty. He was again left, kept it in, and that ball absolutely read it, stopped, and just absolutely split the eight nine. That was beautiful. I mean, you can't get any better than that. I mean, he is, I mean, for seven games so far, last night and tonight, he has looked phenomenal. I mean, He's going to be at least, he's at least in the 260s. He's going to have 780 at least. Strike will put him at 790. Last night he had 771 for the first three. He shot 980 and unholy down on the end pair. Uh, so, I mean, he is definitely, definitely seeing it the right leg. Oh, I'm surprised center. he actually tried to hit it good. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding? Game in hand. Tried to go all right. He gets a little help from his friend and trips a two pin out. Bad enough, and then he went and threw one out the window and absolutely caved in a five count bucket. That is, wow. man, that's just adding insult to my injury. My right goodness. <laughs> Nick is like, oh my goodness, what do I got to do? Yeah, Nick, 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 if I, I'm Nick right now, I'm just going, Jesus Christ. Look, Nick. Nick's probably thinking, like, what do I got to do? Trip this guy at the approach to, to, to make him not score? This is like, nuts. Where's my drunk teammate at? They haven't come tackling. I don't know. I, I think he's been escorted out of the area. Yeah, I think Gordon went ahead and uh, walked him out out of the the bowling area altogether. Yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, there you go. He so. was left again right there. Just I think just to see what he's got. Oh, and he goes ten pins. So. So he starts the game with a ten pin. He ends the game with a ten pin. Everything in between strikes as he would throw ten in a row here for two seventy eight and has a three nothing lead for the second straight night. This time it is for the world title. Nick Christie not too far behind him. It'll yeah, be his man, best game. It'll be his best game. game. You figured he threw one bad shot in the second frame, two, four, eight, ten. Then the rain ten in the fifth and, and you're still thirty short. That is rough. That's a rough day. That is that is sick. Oh, well, I got this after game two. All right, so what? Which I was going to go over and say, but I sort of had a little uh, yeah. first night. Yeah, yeah first night. When, when I said sometimes I don't mind being in front of the camera, that's not exactly what I had in mind. No, I don't think so either. We, we, we didn't figure that's what you had in mind. No. All right, so quick, so, quickly. Uh, there's only one match right now that's one and one, and that's Travis Barker, 180. Uh, Daniel Ship a lot less. So less. that's tied. Everything else is 2-0. G-Town over Dragon Assassin's is game 2, 2-12 to 2-0-2. -2. Ryan Ward, 224. Lee Bowen, 170. Ryan's up 2-zip. Uh, your cruiserweight match so far, it's been all Farrington. 182-170, game 2, he's up 2-zip. Uh, Roosevelt Johnson, 2-0. 185-160 over David Barker. And, of course, this match is now 3-0. Yes, that's right. Your final here at game number three, it's Dennis Kilo again for the seventh straight game. Dennis, 278. Nick Christie, 245. I mean, that's, how you think he threw the back eight? Uh, so, you know, eight. Uh, we said it last time when he finished strong. It was like, all right, it could be game on. All right. Now it's time. Is, we said the margin of error is zero, in your words, El Chico. Right. But I'll read it out. You okay. All right. So here we go. So for those that are they're paying attention here or in the live feed, we're going to. I'll, I'll read it off. Here. All right. So here we go. Let's see if we can find it. We're going to bring it up. Hold on. All right. So here we go. Here's the trivia question for those that are paying attention. Okay. So during Mega Bowl 2018, last year's Mega Bowl, Ray Marsh successfully defended the world title. Who did he eventually lose the belt to? There is your question. The first one to comment with the right answer on the live feed. We'll get a, we'll get a ball. Compliments of Storm product. Hey, Storm Storm Products. Storm the Bowler's Company. That's my company. That is your company. That's right. Storm sponsor here at the UBA. So the first one to chime in with the right answer. We'll get a uh, we'll get we'll get a free ball. By, by the, the Jason Hale. What was the question? The question is. 
So last year's Mega Bowl, 2018, Ray Smarr successfully defended the world title. Who did he eventually lose the world belt to? What's that? So here we are, game four, and Dennis Kilo started out with nine spare. Hey, seven, uh, but man, it, it looked like he just kind of half pocket hit seven, man. But he ran down the spare. That's a, that's a right. bonus from last guy. That is pretty good. <laughs> So, so the first one, Alex Lindsay with the first one to chime in there. Let's see. I mean, my computer's slow, but that's what we got first. Alex. So Nick here, second frame, and the ball just doesn't get up the hill once again. It leaves a two pin. So was it Alex Lindsay? A lot of Nick Christie answers. I don't think Nick, Nick won the belt from Miguel. No. Uh, oh, let me make sure we got the right answer. Miguel Cobo. So there it is. Okay, Alex Lindsay. Yeah. So he's the first one to chime in. So congratulations, Alex Lindsay. Oh, uh, I know the guy. He's from Jer Jer Jersey guy. Oh, so, all right, we got Jersey. Oh, yeah, all right, Jersey. Jersey. All right, so hey. hey, so Matt Brown won one. Alex Lindsay won one. So I got a question. Is it ball of choice or is it already a designated ball? What's that? I forgot what ball Matt Brown all right, well, let's ask Matt. I mean, it must have been a pretty good ball. Matt Brown won a ball, so it must be pretty good. He didn't, oh, okay. he didn't complain about it, so I guess it's good. If he, there's Matt right. Brown right there. I can ask him. Right hey, here. we're going to get Matt Brown on this. Hey, Matt Brown. Matt Brown. Yeah. We're going to bring Matt Brown in. So while well, Matt Brown's going to take his time. I'm find out real quick. Okay, so we'll, we'll get that answer. So Nick Christie goes strike nine spare to start game number four. He's down 3 nothing, and Dennis Kilo. My, my commentary partner uh, left, and Dennis throws to 210. Like, right, so, so, so Matt Brown said he didn't get a choice. That's what they sent. They sent him a Storm High Road X. Oh, that's still a pretty good ball. Yeah, that's still pretty good. It's one of my favorites. There, one of my favorites. There you go, Alex. You got something to look forward to? Um, I'm sure somebody will get your info and all that fun stuff, but that's a pretty good. There you go. So, Tony, there we so, go. so congratulations, congratulations, Alex. So, Alex yes, Miguel Lacobo won the world title from Race Marsh. In the uh, June World Title match, and uh, right, so now we, I look like we might have ourselves a, a closer match this time. It might not be a shutout through eight. <laughs> right, yeah. A little bit closer this game. Yeah. Well, I mean, la I mean, last night Dennis got a huge break with uh, Tom giving him game three. I mean, this time, uh, I mean, Dennis outright won game right, three. He's, he's not this looking tonight. to take any breaks. He is just absolutely taking yeah. the matches from Nick Christie. So. We'll see how this game four goes. You know, he, yeah. he's seven pin and then he two ten. So let's see what he does right here. See yeah. If he, see if he tightens everything up. I didn't. I didn't really particularly care for his first two shots to start this game. Could call it adrenaline, knowing hey, I'm on the verge of winning the belt. But you know, he's been going for. So we'll see how it goes. Right. See if he settles back down and you know, makes a quality shot here. Dennis is normally a fairly quiet guy, and he. He had a few a few words to the camera after he won that last game, so he could be just a little amped up. Oh yeah, that and ball was, that ball was he started it left and it never hooked. Well, I'll tell you right now, that looked almost the same looked like the same result Nick Christie did in his second frame. Nick Christie leaving the two pin yeah. and the ball labored. So now we're now we're into the transition game. Now both bowlers starting to see that enormous over under that these yes. guys are, are known for. You get in, you get to that fresh. And your ball will absolutely sail past the head pin if you if you're not absolutely acing all of them. Oh, and he missed them all. He yes he did. He missed them all. He loses count oh, on that too. Count right there. That's bad. So, an uncharacteristic start for Dennis Kilo. He goes nine spare, eight out, seven out. He leaves the two ten in the second frame, two four ten in the third frame, and this could be the opening that Nick Christie has been looking for all match. Nick Christie. A little in and oh, the pinholes came back. Caught the break to get the ten out of that one, and he, otherwise he's staring at a split himself. Yeah, I mean, we could be looking. We could be looking at an ugly game four, but as as uh, Nick Smith said, huge break for Nick Christie. Seven ten actually went down, and Pinholes almost came up the wall and took the four out. But uh, Nick Christie with the spare here. 
He does make the spare. Okay, so Nick with the spare. He actually has a 26-pin lead after three, thanks to two opens by Dennis. See what he does here. I, I actually didn't think that was a bad pitch that he made on that right lane, and it hooked. It picked up pretty quick, so... I, I, let's see what he does right here. See what kind of shot he makes. Yeah, this is, this is the lane. I, like, I didn't mind that one on 12. All right, this is the lane that's gotten tight a lot all of a sudden. He stayed in. He stayed in. And he goes two pin again. That's why they can get right and just firm it up, or you got to get a big ball. And Nick basically, Nick called it. He said the ball went long. He's basically saying, Dennis, hey, you know. The ball's going long. Yeah, they said they're, like I said, they're chasing it so far in now that now they are in the fresh at you know at, at 25, 27, you know, let left of, of you know getting on the left side of the lane, and so that is all fresh, and so you, your just ball is just it's not going to pick up from right there. I, I so I just talked to Dennis, and we, you know, he he turned around, and looked at me, and he, was, and he threw his hands up, and I said I told him I said, look, you're too far left with that one. You either have to ball up stronger ball to get it to read that oil or you need to move right and firm it up with the ball speed to allow you to stay in that same zone where he's at because he was trying to be soft, so now they're hooking, so now we can firm it up and throw it a little faster. Yeah, he's going. For, he's not going for a ball. He's going for a bag here. He's going for the whole bag now. This is some heavy-duty stuff. And, uh, it looks like he's got a ball that's not quite as shiny. Uh, it's got a little more service to it, so let's see what he does. Right, It might be another web tour. Dennis is a, a track staffer, so he's got – He's got EBI stuff. Uh, so he looks like he might go to a web tour or a Triton Elite maybe, maybe an Elite. Uh, so let's see what he is. He's definitely left. He's close to that ball return right there. Yeah, that's a Triton Elite. I just seen him shift it to the right. He balled up. Let's see what it does right here. Man, I'm, well, that, good. Well, I'm, that, I'm well, good at what I do. Well, that lane looked pretty good. It's this lane that's the tighter, that's gotten well, tighter all of a sudden. Yeah, so. because he was chasing them so, so much further left on the left lane because it hooked more a little it hooked a little more through the track so i, I think he stay he does the same thing he's he can be just as far left on the left lane as he was earlier he's got the big ball so i think it reads it the right way That's, which is why i said i gave him two options ball up to the big ball or move right and firm it up and he chose the ball up and obviously you, you absolutely aced it on 12 so let's see what it does here on 11. this is a big shot here for the challenger looking for the first double of game oh, four Wow, what a ball change. What I tell you, what I tell you I'm, I'm good at what I do. I'm uh, good at what I do. You are pretty good at what you do, man. Huge ball change gives Dennis Gillow his first double of game four. And it puts a little pressure on the champion, who is down 3 nothing here in game four and doesn't have a double yet. He stays clean, though, through the first four. He's looking for a second strike here, game number four. And he shot. gets the 10 a out, so Kilo. Kilo. he keeps the lead. Kilo. Keeps the lead at 15 pins. He's got to find something on this left lane. He's gone two pin the last couple times. Yeah, the see. ball. I wonder if he does the same. No, he's gonna stay with that ball. Same no ball. Wow. He back right, maybe. I man, that's a. <laughs> I would have balled up. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm I would have gone with something with surface to get through the carry yeah, down. Unless he's gonna try to throw it really soft. Two uh, pin. He just didn't throw it as far right. Oh. That's not bad. That's not bad. But again, so now you're so you're on you're you're on a house shot. So now he's just gonna trap it. Like what you wanna wow. now he just cut his margin for air. He's like, all right, no, I'm just gonna be a shot maker. I'm not a I don't like that theory on a house shot. You're trying no. to maximize your room. So but I mean hey, if he can if he can ace them, then I, I hey hats off to you. Go do it. Go be yeah. a bowler. Yeah, yeah, I thought that would I thought that would have gone too long. And Dennis, oh look at the ball on the wheel. He got that ball right and she picked up and went through the pass. That 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 nice little kick on the ten by the six. That that right there will make you feel very good because usually when you throw the big ball like that and you throw it, feed it to the friction, she just you know ends up puking right there in front of the pins and so right. that that one actually read it and went through it. That's good. For your watch. Smart right here, taking a re rack after that. At, that shot amped him up, slapped it out a few times. So smart right here, taking. Definitely, a re -rack. it's definitely smart. Absolutely, it's a good time for a re rack. So, but yeah, I mean, I thought that net, the last shot that Nick Christie thought, I thought it was gonna be two pin. Looked like he was in that area where he's gonna push down, but. Like I said, if he makes shots there, yeah, all, all the power to him. If Nick can trap, you know, the next five right there, or I say next five, the next three shots on that left lane in that zone, 
then, you know, absolutely, you know, hats off to him. You're just making good shots at that point. But in my opinion, like you're handcuffing yourself on a house shot. Like, I, I, in my, Dennis is going to say that we're trying to maximize your area, not cut it in half. So. Might be the only look he's got right now that yeah, he feels comfortable it, with, too. Yeah, it, absolutely. It might be, you know, in his mind, it's the, you know, last ditch effort. Oh, that was low. Oh, and that is probably the biggest mistake of the weekend we've seen from Dennis Kilo. He goes half loaf. <laughs> yeah. Half a loaf. Tell, hey, tell him good job. You got half on the first one. You got updates again? I got updates. Okay, we'll get updates and, and as. I know, maybe it was better for Dennis when Nick's teammate was up there hanging out. <laughs> Go bring him back. Go bring him back. I think Nick may. Well, it's funny because Nick may want me to. Well, I think Dennis may want me to do that. Nick probably does not want me to do that. These are all game threes. DA gets on the board. Uh, 213, 196. G Town still leading that one 2 to 1. Lee Bowling gets on the board, 247, 235. Ryan Ward still up 2 to 1. Uh, Dan Ship takes a 2 to 1 lead, 178, 139 over Travis. Uh, the only one right now that is 3 zip this, besides this one is your cruiserweight match, Charles Therrington, 3 zip over James Malloy. However, it looks like James Malloy is going to take game 4, which will force a game 5. And in the welterweight match, David Barker, 239, Roosevelt 206. He gets on the board. Roosevelt still leading 2-1. to one. John, back to you. There you go. Thanks, Gordon. Nick Christie leaving a 7-pin on the double. But he's not in trouble is Dennis Kilo. Look like he got one a little soft, and the ball just ran ran for the hills, basically went through the face, leaving the Greek church. So Nick's carry is absolutely less than uh, phenomenal right now. And the shots that he likes, he's throwing it good. You know, his carry percentage is probably less than 80% on the shots that he likes. Uh, it's the shots that he don't like, those light hits that he was getting away with. You know, those were, those were, he's got a very better carry percentage on those than his good ones. Well, right now, I mean, you speak of carry percentage, got those numbers right here. Dennis right now uh, outstriking uh, Christy, Nick Christie by a, a good amount. We'll put it that way. Nick here, that, wow. And again, another light hit, and it, you mix them up. Hey, if he'd have hit flush, he'd probably wrap 10s right there. Well, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I mean, the shots early this game where he tooping was right about there. So it's either he's getting it done with hand and or, 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 and or a combination of, like, ball speed. I mean, it, it's... He's getting it done, like you said. I mean, he's he's making shots. He's basically like threading a needle here, but it's he's it, definitely it, definitely being a lot more accurate than I think he has to be. But again, hey, if you can do it, hats off to you. Go do it. You know, right, go, go be a good bowler. That's, that's right. Good, good attempt. Right now, I mean, we're seven and a half through. The max scores: Nick Christie two thirty seven, Dennis Kilo two o four. As Dennis here to complete the eighth frame. And he gets it to go. So 100% in the right ball. Now he's in the right. So now again, it's back to before. He just got to make good shots, which you know he's done it so far. He just got a little bit soft in that seventh frame. He was a little bit short off his hand. Uh, so I, and he said it. he turned around and he said it to me. He's like, I was slow, and I was like, Yeah, off your hand, that ball was way slow. And he can't afford to do that with the big ball. You can't no, do it. No, if no. It, in, right. it will hook. Oh, we saw that by Nick Christie too when he when he switched to Sonic. If he got a little in, we saw the four six. So I mean, he he's got that in the back of his mind now for Dennis anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what he does right here. I mean, he's not out yet. I mean, this is about the same position that Nick has been in the whole match so far. Pretty much. So, That's got your back. Flat 10. He kept that one in the whole way. He said he just kind of shimmed it, and it didn't quite want to get there. So I think we go ahead and chalk this one up to Nick. Looks like we got a game right. five on We got a game five, and barring any catastrophes, uh, Let's see, 184, Nick, uh, 60, 50, yeah. The, the one, the, Dennis can get the 180. I need to, well, once, yeah, oh, one, yeah. he can get the 180. Christie's 230, that's 50 pins. I mean, Nick Nick can spare out the rest of the way, and he's going to win hand easily. Huh. So pretty much, so. Any mark here by Nick Christie, and we will have to see a game five pretty much. Nick here, foundation frame, ninth frame. Oh, almost a 7 10. But the 10 stands, to st I'm sorry, the 10 goes down the 7. The 7 wiggles, but it stands up. So right now, Nick at 175 without the spare. He makes a spare. We're first going to see game five. 
And Nick Christie. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, oh God. Hey, that's 2-0 now. That's the last time oh, I can speak from personal experience, I lost a – I was at a tight team title match in January. We needed to mark to close the match out. I flagged a 7-pin, followed by flagged a 10-pin. We lost in 7. Oh, my God. This was game 5. Gaffey might not like this. So I said, I he flagged a 7. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm better known as Daffy's husband. One ball, one uh, sale. Big ball right here. She, uh, she lost a, a, a fixing series match because she uh, missed a 5-pin and a foul. This one pretty much. Oh, oh that's, that's almost a 10-pin pin stood up, but this time it goes down. Oh, and Nick and Nick that's Christie the, will, is now on the board. To, that's the best way to lock up a game right there. Just ace it on the first one. But anyway, I was gonna say Daphne bowled uh, Heather Heather Ness and um and so it went to seven and Daphne missed a five pin to lose a game and then in game seven all she needed was the first the the first hit or a double the ninth and tenth and she fouled in the ninth. Oh. And so they gave Heather the Heather all she had to do was uh, mark an attempt to, to to beat her overall beat her. I, this is the first time I've ever seen that happen. I was like, wow, Daphne never I've never seen her foul before. That is pretty Not at least standing up without falling over on it. That's, I've I mean, seen that, her fall a few times, but the man, I've never seen her just foul. That's pretty rare. So Nick Christie has game four wrapped up, and for the first time this weekend at Mega Bowl, uh, Dennis loses a game. I mean, the way he's been going, I, I, I it, it was kind of hard to believe, but it, he, he uh, there's a chink in the armor now. Yeah, he's definitely showing some uh, vulnerability. And bad news uh, for Dennis, Nick just got into his uh, money ball. He pulled out the Roto Grip Hectic, which he has it. used in, I want to say, every match, I believe. Uh, he's probably got more honor scores on that ball uh, in matches than, than most people uh, have honor scores total. So... I said he's in it. He is now into his comfort zone with that ball, and he's going to try to now play them right uh, because they are now they're they're beat up a little bit. So we'll see how it goes here on this next match. Dennis is starting to now. Dennis is having to guess. Uh, I think he's close. I think that ball is close, but it's not dead on like it was earlier. I, again, my move would have been to just be right and firm it up as opposed to moving left and balling up. Dennis chose to ball up with it, so I, I mean, you made that choice, so now commit and ride it out and see what it does. Yeah, at this point, I mean, the lanes don't look too uh, friendly now. I mean, no. Nick's going to win with 190, where we thought he, he was going to lose like 240 the whole way. 190 was in, in the first three games, was in no way, shape, or form going to win you a game. But yeah. I, I, if you said, oh, you're going to win a game with 194, I'd have said, you are out of your mind. That is not happening. Yeah, pretty much. So, Dennis does make the three pin. And as I mentioned before, he's, it's going to be the first time this weekend he's going to lose a game. First time this weekend he's going to be under 200. As a matter of fact, the lowest game prior to this game for Dennis Kilo was 234. The first seven games. His lowest game was 234. It's now going to be uh, 170. And it just looks like the lanes are a little messy right now. Yeah, like I said, it, they're, they're tricky. Like I said, that zone he's having to move into and he's having to he's having to shape it a little bit different. So, like I said, it's it's it's, it's going to make him. Uh, he's going to have to, you know, pull out his tricks, you know, and show why, you know, why he's why he is who he is. Uh, you know, so he's, you know, he's he's a contender. You know, and he's. I think he's going to he's going to give Nick a run this game. I think so, but but for now it is game game four. It is Nick Christie who gets on the board and extends the match another game. He wins one ninety four to one seventy three, and. And Nick Christie cuts into the 3-0 lead with a game on the board at 3-1 now. You didn't want to try to move right? So here we are, game number five, getting ready to go. Nick Christie to start game five. He's down three to one. He's got the hectic out as Nick Smith, as Nick Smith has said, that is his money ball. And if that's true, then Dennis is in trouble right now. But that, that's a long way to go as 
Nick needs to rail off three in a row to defend the title. Nick Dennis just needs one more to win the title from Nick Christie. So I just had a conversation with Dennis, uh, and I asked him, I was like, you didn't want to try to, you know, firm it up and give it the gas and go back to what you're throwing and move right. And he said the shim's gone uh, where they were at. So that's why he was trying to chase it left. And I told him, I said, you know, Nick's in his money ball because the track's blown up, basically. They're, they're hooking. And uh, it looks like Dennis is going to make another ball change. On the fly ball change right here. Uh, All right, ball change to start this game. He didn't yeah, on the fly. This ball is straight out the back. Looks like it's another Tritony lead. It's probably probably a pin down shape. Uh, but he said, you know, he knows that the track's blown up. Nick's going to go to that hectic. But he said he doesn't think he can move right and throw it hard enough to get it to go through it. So. All right, here we go. How is it? That oh! Was solid, that was a solid guess right there. He trips the four out, and he matches Nick Christie in the first the, frame. The, the, you know, the good thing about that is the the way it shaped the lane, like it, when it got through, what I was looking for is the way it got through the arrows and to the break point. It didn't sail past it, and it didn't want to pick up too quick. It read it the right way. He just wasn't in far enough with it, so or he so, might have moved too far to the back right. With that. So, so he, that, that actually shaped it good. So he's going to move a little more in on the next time it's on yeah, that lane. Yeah, I think he moves on 12. His next shot on 12, he probably cheats it. You know, another couple left. Uh, the big part is, you know, the, this lane is the tricky one because this, it was, the right. track hooks, they hook sooner. So it's forcing them deeper, but like I said, deeper is now you're in the fresh. So that's why his ball was sailing. Uh, so he's way deeper than than he's, he is. He is point. way in now. Oh, that one picked it up. Oh. That one picked it up beautifully. That is the furthest we've seen Dennis play all weekend, and it is a great result. He sees Nick Christie's first strike, and he's got him a double now. Yeah, Nick that one that 100 percent read it the right way. So, Nick Christie down three to one, looking to match Dennis's opening double. Looking to give it to give it to the business right. Business and the seven stands up. Yeah, that one was super. Hey, that, that, that's it. That's it. You can bump it up, but that's it. Well, pretty much, pretty much Nick Smith telling Dennis like that's that's the line to play. Pretty much, I mean he is way in, but it is line to play. He says. We'll see how it goes. Nick Christie on the seven pin. And there you go. Like I said, yeah, he, Dennis did switch to a pin down Triton Elite. It's got a little bit more surface. It's pinned down. So and I, and I told him, I said, that 100% read the lane at the right spot. He said, yeah, he said he can actually go even deeper with it. And again, he's not, it, there is no uh, bad spot for him on the lane. He'll play everywhere. And so, That's, yeah, he, he's, right. he's, he's still comfortable. That is pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing for Dennis to be, still be comfortable playing that deep. So we'll see as the match progresses. Yeah, he I said he was right on the, the, the tight lane, seven pin, a little bit left on the hook. And line. That's going to hurry. Ooh, oh, let like Mixer that. does go. He gets the Mixer to go. Yeah, He's too. just get, turned around and shook his head. He knows that that's not, that's not a good look for Nick. Like, Nick's not even happy with that. Yeah, so. you see the look on Nick's face, too. He's like, wow. He knows he's catching breaks. On the, like I said, the shots he doesn't like, he's, he's almost 100% strike percentage on it. It's the ones that he really likes that he's not knocking right. them over. Yeah, oh, pretty much. So, Nick figures he's got to make a small adjustment, make a better shot at this point. Hopefully it goes because, yeah. I mean, I mean, you said this is his favorite, his go-to ball, pretty much. Or his, you know, his yeah, money that ball. Is, that is his money ball. He loves that ball. You, if you ask him at, at any point what's his favorite ball is, he's going to tell you that rotor grip hectic. So oh, that one right. All right. And it aced it. Look at him walking it out. He said, yeah, his, that is it right there. Yeah, that is pretty phenomenal. He got it a little right, and he snaps the 10 out like like it is. Uh, well, I won't, I won't finish that sentence, but uh, you get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that was that's that's beautiful right there. So let's see if he can stay stay even keel right here. Keep doing what he's doing. Like I say, you can say the, the hand gestures. You know, stay calm, stay relaxed. Don't gas it. Uh, you make a good shot right here. Really put the pressure on Nick. And the, the, immediately with the four bagger, Nick's already got a miss. And he, immediately Nick's automatically. Thinking. Dennis looking for the front four. A little right, no problem. Dennis Kilo goes a little right again, and he's got the front four. Uh -oh, and we have update time by Gordon Pepper. Well, we, we still have some games going on and going into game four, but a couple of uh, interesting things. Travis wins 199-156. That is tied at two. What's more interesting in the cruiserweight, uh -oh. you know, one of the things that Kenny Snee told Charles Therrington is 
get rid of Rose of, uh, get rid of James Molloy early because if you don't, he's going to come back and haunt you. Well, he was up 3-0. He's now lost the last two. James Molloy, 248, 189, 263, 257. That's now 3 to 2 going into game 6. That could go 7. Yeah, major uh -oh. uh, you got to think, you know, James James being left-handed. They're not going to break down as fast as the right, and he's just going to throw it straight, 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 and straighter. So, yeah, Charles could be in trouble if, if you know, he gets into that game six, game seven. So Nick here looking for a turkey here. Dial a little right. Oh, this time he gets it to go. That one was left off his hand, but like I said, that ball is so weak. It's the low end, you know, rotor grip ball. That ball's not even, they don't even make right. it anymore. No, they don't. Uh, I don't think so. No, but no, I, I actually, I'm a fan too. I own a couple of them, and that ball is so excellent. He just shimmed it right up 12. And yeah, well, I mean, well, he did move a little, he did get tightened up a little bit. He did miss a little left, but at that time, it was a little more of a comfortable light hit. Yeah. Unlike last time, where he carried light, he made a little face. This time, it was a little more comfortable. Maybe he's in the right area. And Dennis, oh, stands right up. Oh, oh. and then I pin. Oh, almost goes down, but uh, it stood up. One over set didn't like that one at all, and it still split. It's still I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you're 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 looking pretty good when you don't throw a, you don't throw a shot good off your hand. You feel like you immediately stand up. You're in disgust, and you leave a nine pin. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that, that right there will let you know you are 100% in the right ball and in the right zone. <laughs> I completely agree, yes. So, Dennis on the nine pin will convert. We're in a one, a one pin game now. Yeah, one pin game. Very much both bowlers through the first half of game five with four strikes and a nine spare. Nick Christie's nine spare in the second frame. Dennis is in the fifth frame. I think Dennis just needs to tighten up as far as with the, the game right here and, and you know just make make good shots. Uh, I, I don't think he's the lane. He's in the he's in the right spot of the lane. They're not going to change that much more in the next few shots. I think he just needs to make good shots yeah. right here. And, I think, and it seems to be said for Nick Christie. So now pretty much going to be who who executes and who carries here. Here we go. Second half, game five. And yeah, absolutely, sure is a good shot. Strike number five for the challenger. From Kings Court, and he puts the pressure back on Nick Christie to show up here six seven. The, the, the tricky thing, you know, that even though Nick's got, you know, he's on the three bagger, you know, those shots aren't like convincing strikes. Like you're like, oh yeah, he's got it, he's on it. So yeah, we'll see what he does here. See if he yeah, see if he can ace this one. He got it a little bit right. All right. Oh, but he drips the four pin. What a huge break for a four bagger. He didn't, he didn't shim that one. It's all the friction, and it hooked. Wow, that is a huge break for the champion to keep a one-pin lead. That's so we enter the seventh. That's a big-time break right there. That, that, that's those breaks that you need, the, the breaks that you want. Trip the four-pin. That's on a shot that you feel pretty good about. That's, that's what you want. That is See what he does right here on this lane, that he is 100% light mixer, you know, the last two. Oh, he threw it away from Oh, me. oh, he threw it away. Oh, he oh, I've been off the wall. Oh, wow. He got, went away from me. It's because he wants to be firm and straight with it. That ball got a little bit right, and she sailed. They like say he was already, like, mixing it on that lane when he was missing it left. So, that, yeah. I think he's in trouble. In his mind, he knows. he's got. He feels like he's got to be perfect. That ball was three right that lane, and it didn't yeah, I, wanted to pick I, it up. I, yeah, I mean, my first reaction, as soon as the ball hit the arrows, yeah. he, that ball was, he was, I mean, that ball was left to right a little bit more than any other shot. And I didn't think they had any chance of getting back to the hole at yeah. all. And it showed 2 4 5. He was in trouble on that one. <laughs> all right, let's see if Dennis can take advantage right here. Being yeah. up a mark. Like I said, he just gave him, you know, right. gave him a, a miss. So. Pretty much. And, 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 and a little count, too. Yeah, a little bit of count as well. A little bit of count. You know, seven count. Dennis has got two pins on him, so with a miss. So let's see what he does here. He didn't like his last one on the nine pin. So let's see if he, like I said, he, he tightened up, made a good shot on 11. See if he does the same thing on 12. Dennis here looking for a double here in the seventh frame. And he leaves the 10 pin. All right. 
So Dennis with a, some some uh, carry issues now. Little, little carry issues. Yeah, that ball is not. You can see when he first went to it in the first you know first two shots on each lane, that ball really picked up and, and you know and drove through the pins. You can see it now. It's, it's starting to just push it. I, I think he's he, when he said he felt like he could go a few more left. I think he did it. It got himself into a little bit of. Not, I'm not going to say trouble, but got it to where now he's got to, he's got to ace him at that zone that he that he moved into. So. I, I, he's still not in trouble. This is basically a heads-up match at this point. You know, he's got him by two. Make the spare and, and yeah, we'll make know, the spare. Yeah, make make the spare and you know move on. Tight, tighten up. You know, at this point, you know you got you got you know five, three frames left, five shots basically. You know, let's ace, ace these next couple right here. He'll be all right. So three, pretty much two pin game here, entering the eighth frame. We have a minute. Everyone, thanks for everybody for tuning in to the Saturday night main event here at Mega Ball 2019. The World Heavyweight Title Match between Nick Christie and Dennis Kilo. Dennis Kilo up here in the eighth frame with a two pin advantage working on a spare. Hasn't missed oh, on this lane so far. Good. He's soft with it. That one yes, and right. the 10 goes out. Oh, yeah, that was, the, that was the good one. He made sure he caught it good at the bottom. Didn't throw it too firm. That one actually, you saw it pick up and change directions right to go through the pins. That was good. That was pretty good. He's four for four on that lane. He really likes that lane. He's got to figure out how to get 10 down one more time on the right lane. Uh, let's see what Nick does right here. See if he can uh, make a good pitch. Uh, we got right. That, he moved. Uh, that, was well, that, was, that was close. Well, well that, that, was that was the lane he tripped a four pin on. This is the lane where he looked like he wanted to create. It looked like he wanted to just bend the ball a little bit, and it never got back. And people just can't seem to understand that they, you know. Gordon's done ran off about six Gordon, people. Gordon, him Gordon, I think Gordon's done a, a better job at, at the security than giving us updates. Yeah, I, I you know, he's done a bigger paid, job. I hope he's getting paid for this security detail. He's probably, probably, getting, probably getting paid overtime for this. He's getting paid overtime. <laughs> Officiating yeah. for real. He needs to change his jersey and make it black and white for the referee jersey. Uh, he needs Miles, he needs Miles uh, referee jersey. There we go, pretty much. Nick here, foundation right, frame, ninth frame, right huge shot here. Not right, so that be good. No, and once again, he, and once again, he tries to just belly it a little bit. I thought that shot was pretty good. It was shimmed up the lane, and it never hooked. Well, I'll tell you right now, the last time on that lane, it looked like it was the same projection yeah. where I thought he was never going to get back, but, that, but he did slow it up a little bit, and the ball – Never picked up. I was a little surprised the ball didn't pick up because of the slower ball speed, yeah, not he, necessarily because of the shape. The hits that he got early in the game were in that same zone, right up, you know, 13, 12, 13, up the lane. Ball never got right at 10, uh, and he caught the light mixers. That one never hooked. He almost left the bucket. Uh, I was fortunate just to leave the two fence. Uh, I, I don't know if he gave that one the gas a little bit, trying to jam it in, but uh, it, whatever it is, he, he definitely, uh, definitely missed that one. That, he needed that one bad. Uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis here, right here. Win this, win this belt, win yeah. this match. Yeah, pretty much Dennis in the driver's seat here in the three. foundation frame, ninth frame. A three bagger and nine will shut him out. Pretty much, yep. Max scores right now. Dennis Kilo 259, Nick Christie 237. Dennis up three to one here right. in game five. Right now, right now, Dennis is, is going through his head, you know, what he did his last time. So, he's, you know, what's my next move? I, I think the way he, he flat 10 on the last one, I, he's, I think he just maybe cheats at one left and gets doesn't throw it hard, just gets it a little soft. Dennis here, looking for a double here in the ninth. 10 pin, oh, the 10 pin gets tackled. Huge double by the challenger. Right, that, was, that was it. That was much softer. He, gets the ball, he let the ball pick up and roll. And she went through the pins beautifully. I mean, that was, oh, I mean, that 10 pin wiggled. It wanted to stand up, but that, that six, there was too six, many pins. That six man put in work on that 10 right there. Yeah, that, that too many pins got in the way where the 10 pin wanted to stand, and the 10 pin goes down. And... For Dennis Kilo, he is one mark and good count away from becoming your new world heavyweight champion. And he's going to take his time on this one right here. That's it. He's, he's back, max in 59 to 
the Knicks 37. So hit this hit a spare nine, nine spare nine. Uh, nine spare well, strike. Nine, nine spare nine to tie. Nine spare strike is a winner. So ace, knowing Dennis, they like, ace this first one and end it right here. Coach. Coach. Put it on. 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 Not yet, but four, five pins. But the heavy lifting is done. Five pins to win the world title. 100% silent crickets over there. Yeah, they are, they are, they are stunned. They, I mean, I told them they could make as much noise in the beginning. Well, uh, they're not making it much now. I mean, they are, they are stunned. I mean, five pins, pretty much, to give them the title. Eight, pretty much, he's, he's going to go for ten here. And how about a light mixer? Four pin. It's going to be more than enough. And your new world heavyweight champion from King's Court, Dennis Kilo, is he's going to take down game five and win this world title match four games to one. Nick defended once. He won, won a battle ball, defended. So Dennis Kilo finishes with 248. He will fit it. He will sit in the clubhouse comfortably, knowing he's gonna be your new world champion. And there it is Dennis Kilo, King's Court, with the world title now. Thanks for letting me join you. I had a ton of fun, man. Hey, it was, a, it was a definitely a pleasure to have you in the in the booth here today, tonight. It's awesome to get get a southeast perspective here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. This is this is what I love to do. You know, commentate, watch right. bowling. I live bowling. Right. So, yeah, this, I love right. It. So Nick Christie to finish out the ten for as he finishes out. We'll have Gordon with the new world heavyweight champion. You. Congratulations. Thank you. So we talked. Uh, is those cheers that I see coming out? Uh, sweat. It's only sweat. That's a good thing to say in front of the camera. I like that. That's that's good. <laughs> so first of all, congratulations on the win. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So it, it seems, that, you know, one of the things that we're talking about, especially yesterday, dominance, you know, you you started very quickly against Tom Pan Bianco yesterday, pretty much led it. You do the exact same thing here today. You go up 3-0, and it didn't really seem like the outcome to this was in doubt. Was that, that's how it seemed to me. Was that how it seemed to you? My, when I bowl all my matches, no matter who it is, I want to get off to a fast start. I, I want to put the pressure on my opponent, as much pressure as I can. I just, I, and so that's, that's what I try to do. I just want to get off to that fast start. I'll, I'll, maybe it makes them squeeze a little bit more, make them think about a little bit more, whatever. I just want to get off to a quick start. So what does winning the belt mean to you? It's a goal. I mean, uh, I, I, I love competition. I love the head-to-head. -head. Um, it, it was, a, it, it was, it's just a goal. It was a goal for me to get to here, get to here to win. Um, that's about all I can say about it. I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, that's a great goal. Congratulations. Now, you got one more defense uh, that you must defend in the South. After that, Battle Bowl. What's your thoughts? I, when I got in the series, my main goal was to, to, to come to one of the big events, the Mega Bowl, the Battle Bowl, and bowl in this atmosphere. And it was more than I expected. And the crowd, 
the other team jumping on me. I mean, that was fantastic. Uh, getting, uh, I look forward. If I can get it to battle bowl, maybe if I can defend, I fully expect to defend against Nick. Uh, there's not many. Hey, we got a lot of strong bowlers here in the south, so. I, but I fully expect to bowl against Nick again. I was gonna say, if Nick holds on to that belt, you may be seeing him either before or during battle bowl. That's fine. I mean, Nick Nick's a Nick's a heck of a bowler. He's very strong. He, I think he just played the lanes wrong today, and that worked to my advantage. Well, you, you did what you've traditionally done, it's, and that's exactly your game plan. You built a lead, you put pressure on them, and, you know, that was that. Uh, when did you think, when did you realize that it's just like, okay, I'm the world champ now? Uh, when, I, when I got up in the night frame, I, I, I knew I was two pins up on count. So I figured if I could throw the ninth and the tenth, then I had it wrapped. And I throw it good enough to carry. I, I saw this going up in the air when you walked it out. How confident were you that it was all going down? Hey, when you get off the hand that pure, that good, online, I was pretty confident in that shot. All right, cool. I know that uh, there's at least one more match that we're going to be looking at. Uh, so I've got to go because uh, we're almost there. Any final thoughts? Anything you want to discuss? Um, no, nah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Besides it. this guy playing with your head, pause. Uh, buddies. <laughs> Hitman. Uh, I'm, I really, my goal is to get to battle ball now. I want to, I've seen what it is here in the south. I want to see what it is up in north because uh, Nick told me it gets pretty wild. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It gets very well, but it gets a lot of fun, and I'm sure uh, you're going to have some time having some fun with that new World Championship belt. Yeah, well, we'll do.